Hey everyone, this is Cosmo My Guys, it's me, Leon, together with me is... Dunster! Alright, and today we bring you Buddy... Buddy... <laughs> <laughs> today we are bringing you Panel Spirit content as the highly demanded request in the What Happened video we did mm -hmm. quite recently. Yeah, my concept quite recent. Uh, Very recent. Right, so as promised, we will bring you such content and... Right behind us. Ta-da! This is what we're gonna bring you. First will be the SD39. 39. 39, yes. Start deck overview. Yep. And as well as the BS37, which is said to be the Vanguard friendly booster pack. Yep. Although it's a year old though, but there's no issue, alright? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then this will be a three part video for what reason? I wonder. I wonder. Well, because also, we are actually giving out the SD39 trial decks or start decks to you guys. So we'll be giving six in total. Uh, the, we have three videos, so we'll be giving two each, mm. uh, giving two out each. So if you want to know how to get your hands on these beautiful, white, lovely Godzilla with laser guns and metals and stuff, <laughs> do head over to our description and find out how you can win one. Exactly. All right. With that said, shall we get on to the unboxing video? Yep. All right. So ready? Mm -hmm. All right. Generation. <sighs> really now? Sorry. Let's body fight now. <laughs> Get, Get the open! Kai Ho! Alright, now that we have taken out the structure deck right here. Mm -hmm. So is the structure deck or start deck? Start deck. Start, start deck, deck, yeah. Yep. Start deck. Sorry, I was a bit used to you here. <laughs> right. So okay, the start deck, now we have it here with us. So yep. that's the what do you feel of the packaging and the name of this stuff by the way? The okay. Japanese name. The Japanese name uh, of this start deck is Tepeki Naru Ryuto Kami, which in English is Impregnable Dragon and God. Yep. So, oh, just hearing the name, right, you can tell that this is one stuff that you do not want to mess with because it seems like and we've actually taken a look at it uh, at it beforehand mm -hmm. and uh, it's, it turns out that this deck can be quite disgustingly strong mm -hmm, but yes, in a yes. good way uh, because uh, this this whole deck, this is a white deck so um, white player, uh, white White color is ten, uh, tends to be very very defensive Right, because after it represents diamond, then diamond is unbreakable Sorry. But brittle as heck, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, aesthetics wise, well, you can you can see this is the this is an ace card for this whole stun deck. This is um, Noble Dragoon, Noble Dragoon uh, New Siegfried. Yes, correct. So just hearing the name, you know this is something that is very very strong, very powerful. But we won't know until we actually see it in action. Hmm. But other than that, you know, the, the the standard, you no, know, um, this just screams. Uh, Japanese card games mm. as it always does so I think it's fine and what's interesting is that they actually say here that it includes two x rest uh, two copies of it which means you get two um, two new secrets so in other words if you want to make a full set you need you just need to get another one correct and you already have three plus one extra which you can probably decorate the walls tear it so that it can be used against you yeah, and think. things like that. I thought it is a blue eyes white dragon. Oh uh, wow, really? <laughs> You're going there. Okay, no, 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 <laughs> but okay, yeah. but uh, for most of the card games I play, usually they don't give you two, <coughs> sorry, two for it. Yeah, they don't give you a lot of like this kind of thing. They, they usually just give one copy and mm. expect you to buy like 10 million copies of it just to make one play set. Yeah, yeah, correct, correct. Like but yeah, it doesn't so, really matter. Yeah. Okay, so, let's look at the side of yep, the side. Okay, this is where the deck list is. Uh, it's very hard to see right here, but... Uh, it's quite small. Yeah, it's quite small. This is for people who want to see, you know, who have a stickler for detail and want to know what exactly is in this set, which is a good thing. And not only that, they also tell you the, the kind of rarity that mm -hmm. is to be expected in there. Yep. So other than the X-Rares, they also have the Master Rare. Rare uncommon and common so yeah that's basically it no there, there really isn't much to say about it mm -hmm. and you. then yeah nice in the back we have a second uh, you know another card that is featured in this deck this is uh glory ship type f mm -hmm. and some other cards here and of course you know Asian stickers, no, no. <laughs> because it's literally pasted on, mm -hmm. uh, like the warning and uh, the barcode and etc. and things like that. There really isn't much, and of course, mm -hmm. barcode for retailers, you need to think about this. Yep. Uh, and not only that, at the front, there's also another sticker over here. This mm -hmm. is this is the sticker that tells you that you no know, BS Club is happening right now, um, mm -hmm. Battle Spirits Club. So there are things in there that can help you, you know. Uh, go and exchange for promos and stuff like that. However, yes. this is only exclusive to, to the, Asia, the Asia region. Asia region. Yeah. Right. So Japan, although despite Japan is part of Asia, though. Yeah. <laughs> but they have their own. They have their own system going on. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure. I think this is for like Southeast Asia or maybe yes. like you know like outside of Japan. Yes, right. Outside of Japan. Yeah. Yes. So anyway, without further ado, let's just open this up. I've really cut the tape uh, with my with my sharp fingernails. 
so <laughs> that tells me he needs to go and cut his finger. So. No, I already cut oh, recently. Just touch me. I cut recently. I'm gonna claw you up. No. <laughs> All right. So now we've taken out the the thing. All right. The first thing we see is the play mat. Play mat. Now this is a uh, standard for all card games, uh, not just Battle Spirits. Mm -hmm. it's, it's there. It's in every single card game. Mm -hmm. uh, but what's interesting is there. Okay, we we'll just see the backside since it's, it's open right now. Yeah. The, the backside. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> juvenile after. Uh, juvenile after. <laughs> but anyway, in, uh, so this this whole thing is just basically telling you, you know. Mm. What are the types of cards in here in Battle Spirits? The field setup, uh, what you need to do to get ready for the game, uh, the rules, the you know everything that teaches you how to play Battle Spirits in a nutshell. Mm, right. And of course, there are also certain combos that are exclusive to this start deck and possibly other um, other kinds of uh, information. Yeah, ultimately, it's most of the basic information requires you to start Battle Spirit. Yeah, oh, this is the main stem. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But simply put, this is how you play Battle Spirits. Everything is told here. And then on the other side is the play mat itself. Mm. So the feel, even though it's, it looks like those kind of like um, you know like. No color, no color printers, mm -hmm. but it does the job. Uh, it doesn't really matter to us because we have other things in store for us for the play mat, so that's yep. fine. But you no, know, for people starting out, this is actually a pretty good. You know, it, it just tells you exactly what you need to know. Yeah, it even it even states exactly what it's supposed to do. Although yep. it's in Japanese, but that's okay. Mm, and also like the different steps of every turn. Mm -hmm. So that's quite interesting. Mm. So with that out of the way. Uh, let's move to the deck itself. I yep. noticed that the first thing we open up the pack, it doesn't have any cores though. Yes, it doesn't. Which Wait. is which is sort of a, uh, I don't know, it feels like a disadvantage to me because I don't see any cores inside and we've opened this up before, there is no paper cores inside as well. Mm. Yep. So core wise, you have to buy it separately. Mm. And you have to because it's a very important thing for the game. Yes, Without right. cores, you can't play anything. Okay, basically to, to summarize for those who uh, do, don't know what core is, core is the, basically the mana system of the game. Yep. So you require uh, most of the standardized uh, call will give you 30 mm -hmm. and then also give you one soul call yes. which is a unique call which is uh, red in colour yes. and most of the card, some of the card skills require the soul call to work yeah yeah. but uh, you probably can also purchase that or temporary proxy if you don't have it mm -hmm. right so moving on to the uh, yep. card itself so the main deck uh, one thing I noticed that is different from a lot of other card games is that this is packed like a pack of secrets mm. uh, why I say that is because the wrapping is very similar to that mm -hmm. it covers the entire thing it literally protects your cards from any further mm -hmm. damage instead of just like binding them together so it's easier to package which is a really good thing but other than that I know I do understand uh, um, poker games uh, poker cards are packaged the same way but this is just a very pleasant surprise so I'm pretty sure that's a Slit somewhere that I can open. Alright, open there it is. Found it. But it's hard to take because I can no nails. <laughs> nah. Thank you, Leon. <laughs> I said it on purpose so that Leon can do it for me. Oh, damn it. <laughs> so while he's doing that, uh, we'll just do a bit of a magic to break down the deck right now. Alright, we've broken down the deck. So as you can see, there's actually a lot of uh, different varieties. So as of all um, all the all the unboxing and overview videos that we've mm. done over uh, a lot of Fofa Vanguard, mm. we're gonna do the same thing for Battle Spirits. We'll mm -hmm. explain in detail um, what the card does, and of course our own two cents about it. Yep, correct. So the first card we're gonna go through is the very top card, which is the Master Rare. Uh, sorry, the Double X Rare. Mm. And this is uh, the ace card for this whole start deck. That's X ray, not double X, by the way. Uh, X ray, yeah. sorry. <laughs> the Noble Dragoon, new, new six six free. Yes. This new is not just for show. Yes, it's not just for show because, first of all, it's a nine cost. Mm. Uh, and it has the flash advent skill. Uh, the requirement is cost six and above. So, what is advent? Advent is during either attack step uh, by by trashing your soul call from, uh, from a spirit, you can put this spirit onto that target spirit. Face up on top, like just over it. Yeah, it doesn't exactly say Tom to spirit itself, but yeah, so long as it's in play, like, I assume. It's yes, I okay. assume so. At, at the same time, uh, Advent is in layman terms, it's kind of it's basically Doom Master's evolution. Yeah, the most basic way to put it. Like. Not that you guys would know that, but yeah, <laughs> in case you do. Yes, right. Yeah. So anyway, uh, it's two skills. The first one is uh, level one, two, three, twinkle equip. So when this spirit advents, uh, choose one family, and from the top of your deck. Uh, just you know, keep on milling until you reveal a brave that has the family that you appointed, mm. and then you you can summon that uh, that card without paying the cost. You mean summon the brave without? Yeah, paying the brave. The cost. Yes. yes. However, do note that the family it means is basically the the creature type. Yes. Attributes in body fight, um, race race in. Vanguard, you know, things like that. Yes, right. Yeah, so for in this case, uh, this new Siegfried is actually an ancient dragon. 
and an arms machine. Mm. So anyway, uh, his second skill, uh, when it is braved, level 2 and 3, when the spirit attacks, uh, this, this spirit cannot be affected by opponent's effects and at the end of the battle, once per turn, you may refresh this spirit. Refreshing basically means you restand it so that you can attack one Untap spell. Luck, okay. Yes, mm. untap, ref, you know, restand, things mm. like that. Correct. <clears throat> so, oh. wow, this, this card is annoying yeah. <laughs> from what I see. And then it's a white card, so it both has the defensive and aggressiveness, aggressiveness to it. Yes, you can correct. either choose to attack again after refresh or choose it to be in defense. Yes, mm. and with it being a level 2 and 3, if you refresh it, that's gonna mm. your opponent needs to really think of how to punch through this 15k and 18k BP. Mm -hmm. That's really annoying. Yep, but good in, in a good way, of course. Oh, just before we move on, realize yep. that there's so many shinies in this. Yeah, there actually is. There are a total of three sets of shinies one X rare, one uh, master rare, and one rare. Mm. The rares in this are printed in the, the double R foil format for Vanguard. So it is actually quite interesting to see, you know, like you can actually have literally a full foil deck mm -hmm. that does something, you know. Yes, yes. Yeah. So anyway, let's move on to the next card. This card, Leon, what is the name? This is the... Uh, some... Uh, hang on. Okay, the Protection <laughs> God King Glorious Ship Type F. Yep, in Japanese his name is Boe no Shingo Glorious Ship Type F. It looks like Quibbly on drug. Quibbly on drugs, yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. It also has a flash advent ability for uh -huh. machine bees or arm machines. Yes. At a cost of four, four and or more. Mm -hmm. Yep. So the cost is exactly the same. Yep. So we'll move on straight to the uh it's a main ability. Yep. For being at level one, two, and three, when advance or attack, you can discard top three cards of your deck. Place any number of spirit cards from among them in the arm machine family mm -hmm. under this spirit as a pre advent card. Basically, yep. it's like the soul, you know. Yeah, the soul. Uh, yes. Or the egg, the or what would you call that? The exist material. Yes, correct. In Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes. Yes. And maybe exist like material would be the best way to put it. Yeah, something like that, like, yes, you know, It's used for pain cause and such. Yes, correct. Why do you have a pre advent card? Was the other skill will explain it. Yes, correct. On this level two and three, during your opponent's attack step, when you take life due to your opponent's by this uh, discard. But by discarding one pre advent card, this spirit uh, will negate the, the life deduction. Yes, and it didn't state how many it reduces, so I'm mm. pretty sure that if your opponent attacks you for 5 damage in a go, in a go, you can reduce them all to zero. Mm. It plays along with defensiveness, but mm -mm. I think there's only a one shot thing because, wow, oh, mm. you know. No, it's not a one shot. <clears throat> it, it can replenish. Remember the first, the first skill does? When this card attacks. Oh yeah, that's true. When it attacks, ah, okay, so no, that it can is But yeah. of course you need to watch your deck. Yeah, say bye bye to your decks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yep. Alright, the next card that we have over here, this is uh, in Japanese is Koryu Juken Guns Balmung. The Twinket Dragon uh, Bayonet Gun Balmung. Yep. So this card, uh, when this card this card is uh, not counted in the total number of brave cards that can brave onto a Zeke, uh, a Seek spirit. Mm. Something like that, right? Yeah, correct. Right. Yeah. So basically, what that means is that because all all spirits can only uh, all braves can only brave with one spirit at a time, this card, this particular card, does not count towards that. That means if you have four, if you have three copies on this on the field, you can brave all three onto the one one Z. So basically, think of mm. brave cards are practically uh, equips, equip equip monsters. Yes, equip they monsters. can be used to play as monster card or they can be used as an equip card. Yes. Mm. So this guy skill uh, on level one reload. So when uh. You, okay, Leon, you want okay. to take this? <laughs> I can take this. You can advent uh, onto this Brave in spirit form. When mm. you advent onto this Brave, you can Brave this pre advent card to that spirit. Basically, you know, as earlier we mentioned about the whole evolution thing. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, for for advent. advent, right? Yes. yes card, usually it just goes underneath as the soul or exist material. Uh. But in this case, this card can be changed immediately into the equip. It mm. can be changed into the Brave immediately. Correct. And not only that, if I recall, Braves cannot be. The sp uh, even in spirit form, the Braves cannot be advent onto. So mm. this is one special condition that allows this very card to do that. Mm. And when you do actually advent to this card, you can choose to leave it in the in the soul as a pre advent or you can move it out into a Brave. Correct. At the same mm. time, when Brave, when the unit, when the Brave and unit attacks, uh, the unit cannot be blocked. The spirit yes. cannot be blocked. Correct. Which I'm is used to call yeah, creatures units, units, right? Yeah, because we are too used to Vanguard. But it's okay. okay Vanguard. Like, it's like generically what I say for creatures in a game. Yeah, that's true. Okay, but it's fine, I guess. But this is pretty dangerous. This is a dangerous thing. It's supposed to combo like that naturally. I mean, yes, this way. Yep. So, okay. So let's move on to the next one. This next one is a very very cute <laughs> cost one mon uh, monster uh, spirit. Mm. This guy is called S D O L nine. Uh, it, apparently, it's called Cedric L nine or something like that. 
So, uh, it's, it's level 1 and 2 ability is that this spirit cannot be destroyed by opposing effects. And it's level 2 uh, when uh, on doing either, op uh, either attack steps. By when you advent a card, choose a choose a call from a void and put it onto one of your own spirits. Okay, the void is basically where the, the mana pool is. Yeah, the core pool lah basically, the but they changed into a void or something like that, right? No, no, it's always been called the void. Oh, the void yeah. okay. Yeah, so that's where it is like where all your spare um your spare cores are. Mm, correct. Yeah, so that's where you you, uh, you take one extra one from the void and put it onto one of your spirits. Mm -hmm. So this this actually helps, you know, uh, in, in creating a difference whether your your spirit level up or you know it has extra resources for you to do certain things. Correct. Yep. It's pretty neat. Like that. Yes. It helps to pay the cost for creatures. Correct. That's for the next card. Mm -hmm. What's the Japanese name? Yeah. No. Uh, okay, the Japanese name is Noburu Oda Obrigado. Okay, the English name is the Noble Order Obrigado. It's, it's, it's almost name. the same. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, oh, sorry. Okay, what does this card do is that the first ability mm -hmm. is a level 1, level 2, level 3 Ultra Armor. Basically, in magic terms, protection from blank. something. Yes. Not just blank, are you? Are you blank, just... blank. I said blank. blank. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but in this case, uh, it's uh, protection against what color? Red and yellow. Ooh. So basically, uh, this card, this spirit is unaffected by the opposing effect of red and yellow spirit, ultimates, magic, and nexus. Yes. So basically, everything. Pretty much. Pretty much everything. Yeah. Yeah. Only for this specific color. Uh. Yes. Okay. But his second skill is level two and level three. When opponent attacks that, okay, mm -hmm. this spirit gains five thousand BP. Additionally, this spirit can block while exhaust. Yep. Okay, because in this game when you perform an attack or something, you this the creatures will go into a tap state which is called the exhaust state. Yes. So basically this creature can block when he's like uh, when he's tapped out. Yes. Mm. So which which plays on more even more to the defensive playstyle that White has. Lah. Right, because this game basically the combat system works a bit like magic where creatures will take a turn to attack and then yep. creatures that are not exhausted can proceed can to block. go and block. Yes. Mm. So you really have to think about whether you want to attack this turn or you want to block next turn. Correct. Alright, next card that we have over here, this is, in Japanese, is Noburu Order, Soldier Azure. Sorry, that's the English also. Yeah, that's the English <laughs> as well. Alright, so this guy's skill, um, when this when this spirit card is discarded from the deck, you can call, uh, you can summon it without paying the cost. It's other skill, uh, level 1, 2 and 3, when this spirit is summoned, choose one of your opponent's spirits and return it to their hands. Hmm. Bouncy, bouncy. Bouncy, bouncy. Yeah, so this is a very, very normal card. Eh? I mean, there really isn't much to say. But when Bermuda bounces your cards instead. Yeah. <laughs> Bermuda robots? Bermuda robots. I didn't know they had such a thing. <laughs> okay, the next card. Yep. Okay, so the next card is, in Japanese, is Aikoku no Kishi Patrioto. The English name is the Pat uh, Patriotic Warrior Patrioto. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit mouthful. No, only that, there's, there's only missing red in the art. Yeah, and... <laughs> Okay, okay for the effect is that it's on level 2 when this card attacks this card, one of your opponent's opposing set bursts. Yep. Okay, in this game, if you pay attention to the earlier of the uh, video where we open up the, the playmat, right? Yes. There's a burst area. Basically, your opponent mm. can set down a burst card there, which works like a trap or, a, or it triggers upon special conditions. Yeah, think of it like a, yeah, a trap card in Yu-Gi-Oh! or an ambush in Dragonborn. Yes, correct. Oh my god, we end there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. But anyway, yeah, so basically that's how burst works. Yes. When a certain f uh, requirement is fulfilled, then the bur you can activate that burst. Correct. So in this case, it destroys the the set burst lah. Yes. Cyclone, cyclone. Yes. <laughs> Free cyclone. Yep. All right. The next card that we have here is in Japanese, Shiro no Tansaksha Waguna Seven. Mm. So what's the English name? The White Searcher WG Seven. Yeah, or Wagner Seven. Yeah. Wagner. Wagner. <laughs> Wagner. <seven. laughs> Wagner. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, this card's level one, two, three skill when the spirit is su mm. summoned. Uh, op uh, we open the five cards, top five cards of your deck. Then from among them, choose a brave and a uh, spirit card with the Evan ability each and add them to your hand. Mm -hmm. Then you put the rest to the bottom of the deck in any order you like. Mm. His other skill, level 2 and 3, uh, on either attack steps, uh, this spirit gets plus 3k BP. Then, uh, when you Evan a card, or something like that, this spirit, oh, when you Evan a card, this spirit is considered a cost 6. Yes. Which is very, very helpful because, especially for Zeke, uh, yeah. New Siegfried because New Siegfried's uh, Evan uh, requirement requires it to have a cost of 6 and above correct so this card automatically helps you, you know, it gives you an extra ammunition for Evan yes which is good very good yeah alright the next card that we have is Japanese Japanese Valkyrie Shuberto Laute yep exactly as it says the yep. in Valkyrie Shuberto Laute yep <laughs> right so what's the skill Leon okay it has a burst skill wow <laughs> 
So we're already going places today. Okay, for Burst, right? For her condition is that after a spirit or brave is summoned by opposing effect. Uh-huh. Then the burst is triggered. Yes. Okay. During all uh return all opposing spirit at a cost five or less to the bottom of the deck. Mm. After that, the effect after the re- effect resolves, summon this spirit without paying the cost. Yes. Wow. Basically, uh it's kinda like what's that card? Chaos Emperor Dragon? No. <laughs> Chaos Emperor. <laughs> Chaos Emperor sends everything like to the graveyard all Except itself la. <laughs> no, 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 this is the Kronos Co- Command. Ah, yes, Kronos Command. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without the on hit. Yes. <laughs> okay. Alright, for the for the second skill, on the level 2, level 3, uh-huh. opponent attack step. This yep. spirit is unaffected by opposing spirit or magic. Mm, very defensive. Bad. Very, very defensive, yes. Mm. Especially since, you know, it's it's a 10k BP on level 3. That's actually pretty good. It has the art of en- uh, Angel G from Super Robot War, honestly. <laughs> yeah, and it stings like a B, I suppose. <laughs> Angel G, Angel G. Angel, oh wait, that, was a bu- that wasn't a bug, I'm sorry. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have the guest fans. <laughs> yes, we have the <laughs> <laughs> Super Robot War yeah, like yeah. Okay, so this guy's Japanese name is Noboru Oda Shakuen Kishin Roge. In the English game, the Noble Order White Flame Machine God, Roger. Roger that. Roger that. <laughs> okay, so it also has an advanced skill. Um, mm-hmm. The requirement is uh, Arm Machine and Cost 3 and above. Yep. Uh, so it's level 1, 2, 3 skill. It's Ultra Armor, Purple, White, Yellow, and Blue. So this spirit cannot be affected by spirits, ultimates, nexus, and magics of those colors. Mm. And it's other one when it's Evan, level 2 and 3. Uh, during your opponent's attack step, this spirit can block while exhausted. Mm. Dang, fight to the finish. Even if it kills you, it'll just block only when you're tired. I know, right? <laughs> the thing about white that I actually like is that they get to defend. White, it's, again, it's a very defensive deck. Yes. But then this uh, this deck seems to have a lot of passive aggressiveness in there. <laughs> Are we going to name it like that now? <laughs> <laughs> it's very passive aggressive. It's like, I'm, blo- I'm, I'm exhausted. I want to block you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, you're going to tag me? Okay, fine. You, if that's what you want to do, fine. I'll just, you know, see some what I can do about it. I'll just block them. <laughs> yeah. Alright, the next card that we have in Japanese is Eiko no Kishi O Superior. In the English name, the Machine Knight of Glory O Superior. Hmm, I, I sense someone will really like this deck. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the glorious things. Yes, yeah, glorious. So what's his glorious skills, Leon? Okay, when this spirit card is discarded from your deck, you can summon this spirit without paying the cost. Wow. So basically, it's supposed to change with some of the skills here. You notice that it does the discarding. Yes. The spirit, uh, the Azul Warrior. Yes, okay. Soldier Azul. Uh, Soldier Azul, it discards and then it chains with that. Mm-hmm. Okay. When the second skill, level 1, 2, 3, when attack. When it's attacking now, okay? Mm. By returning one opposing spirit or ultimate back to their hand during this turn, this creature cannot be blocked. Wow. It's also so nasty. Yeah. Very nasty. Considering this is an eight cost also. We want you to discard it from your deck. There you go. You don't need to pay anything really. Save your resources for other things. Mm. True. That's oh, just before we continue on with the video, just in case anyone's wondering, we've not we've not been talking about this thing up here, right, have we? Uh not really. Okay, just a quick uh, brief about it. It's basically Depending on what colors you play, some of these cards will have uh, these things, these right symbols next, here. Yeah, right next to the cost. Mm. Which, if you do, if you have those colors with these symbols, then it helps to reduce the cost. Yeah, yeah. So that's roughly what it does. But we're going to that doing our five video. Yes. All right. So moving on. Yes. The next card we have is Glorious Flugo. Mhm. Right. Yep. Glorious Flugo. Another voice card. Ah. <laughs> but it looks like Finn Funnels to me. Okay, Finn Funnel! Finn Funnel! Yeah, choo, 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 choo. Choo. Okay, anyway. It is! Yeah, it is! <laughs> I can't say I'm sorry. is still not recovered you know, completely. Oh my. That's why I'm a bit coughing today. Uh, okay. Coughing. We see! Okay, anyway. <laughs> going on topic. Alright, let's get back to this. So, this Brave card, uh, when, it is, when it is discarded from the deck, same thing, it can be summoned without paying the cost. Hmm. Next is Brave. Uh, the Brave cost is 3 and above. So, when Brave doing your opponent's attack step, this spirit gets plus 5k BP. Mm. Then, uh, oh, okay. Then when this card is braved to a sick card, mm-hmm. this spirit cannot be affected by opponent's effects. Imagine you brave this and this together. Show me your brave heart. <laughs> yeah, sure. Legit. Legit. Yeah. Okay. Next, we have is something a bit different from the rest that we've seen so far. It's yep. called the Nexus. Nexus. Nexus is basically like few magic. Mm. They alters the, the few conditions. It gives you uh, usually beneficial uh, yes. most of the time. Uh-huh. And so what it does is that this card stays on the field when it comes into play. Mm. And it, what it does is that on level one and two when summoned. Uh, okay. Uh, by the way, I forgot the name. Okay, <laughs> dice. Uh, Dias Rien Go. Yep. Japanese is Line No Ogong. Yes. All right. The ability is that on level one and two when summoned, effects of spirit cards other than Arm Machine's Family Spirit cannot be activated. 
Yep. So it's not like a Yu-Gi-Oh deck. <laughs> so basically, what this means is that right. Um, uh, other than the other than the arm machines, mm. all other spirits on uh, when all other spirits have their when this spirit is summoned ne- effect negated. Oh, uh, when this nexus comes out, you know, basically only for spirits. When no. this spirit is summoned. Yeah, yeah, correct. Oh, uh, yeah. So Effect our spirits other than um okay yeah correct. yeah correct so yeah so it negates that and you know, a lot of things cannot be done correct it helps to it helps to make sure that your thing comes out without being disrupted like. yes all right level two what does it do opponents end set during this turn when your life was not reduced you can either draw a card from your deck or place one call from your void to your reserve Whoa, okay this basically is all sorts of nasty yeah why because the reserve is actually where you keep all your unused uh calls yes so that's where your resources go so this helps you to what we call the mana ram mm. like. A call yeah. ram in this case. Call ram, well, ram call. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, heading on to the call! Oh, sorry. <laughs> wrong game. Yes, wrong game. Uh, we're like, like directing this to all sorts of directions. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next we have. Alright, this is a magic. Mm. So this guy's name is Rampart Wall. Yes. So it's got a burst ability. Uh, the burst condition is when your, when your opponent's spirit is destroyed or depleted. Now, depleted means it goes from level something to level zero. Mm. So basically, that's what it means. So what this burst effect is? Um, <laughs> why am I reading in Japanese? Yeah, why? <laughs> why? Okay, Leon, help me out here. Okay, <laughs> you can return one spirit card from your trash that was destroyed or depleted when this burst activates to your to your hand. All right. Right. Then you can summon from your hand either one brave card or one spirit card in fa- uh in the family of arm machines without mm-hmm. paying the cost. After that. By paying the cost, you can activate this card flash effect. Ah, uh, from the trash, which is at the end of the ba- uh, at, at the, the end, end of the battle, battle it end the attack step. Jinx. Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, in Yu-Gi-Oh terms, is the negate attack. attack. Yes. Uh, so it ends the attack step immediately, so no other spirits can attack. So this is it helps you to recover because this deck, yeah. it, you, as you can see so far, like, it's actually a bit uh advent reliant. Yeah. So you gotta have things on the table. But we'll move on with that a bit later. Mm-hmm. Next, uh, we have the next shot. Okay, the next one. The next shot. The next shot. This is also a magic. This is Stop. Balmoon Shot. The next shot. Sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no pun intended for that. Yes, really. no pun intended. Alright, okay. so what's the flash skill, Leon? Okay, return one opposing spirit to the hand. Afterwards, you can separate as many brave cards from your brave spirit. For each brave card separated by this effect, return one opposing spirit or ultimate back to, uh, to the bottom of the deck. This effect cannot be used on the main deck. Yeah. Supposingly, this is a counter deck. Yes, something like that. Yeah, okay. yeah, basically your opponent attacks you, then you just disperse all your brave to send back all their units. Ah, yes. Ah, so all right. use that way. La. Mm-hmm. Okay, and lastly, we have the last card. Yes, this last card is Limited Barrier. Mm. So what does it do? Okay, it's also a flash magic. So during this turn, um, when your... When during this turn, your uh, life, your cannot, life cannot be reduced by all spirits and ultimates cost 4 and above. Then, if you use the so call to pay the cost for this, uh, this card, your opponent returns one nexus back to his hand. Nasty. Very nasty. Yeah. This is uh this is like those uh uh level four uh no level four entry. What's the trap card in Yu-Gi-Oh again? Was it the the, the four the Danger level four? Danger level four, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Or or level four and above uh in defense position or something like that. Something like that. I don't uh. remember. It's, it's been too long. Sorry if I got the thing wrong, so no no hit, no hit. Yeah, no, no hit. Yu-Gi-Oh hit, please. <laughs> Thank you. We are, we are actually literally like, you know, I, I am on, on my side I'm translating all this from whatever I can read and Leon is reading them off the wiki. So the wiki is a very Yeah, thanks. <laughs> so the wiki is a very great source for for, uh, for you if you mm. want to know more about what these cards are in detail. Uh, Just proves that reading is overrated. Yes, it's overrated. <laughs> and before in before we wrap things up, I also like to point out that in the in the start deck, uh, it, we have 90 points. Mm. What this does is the aforementioned BS club that we talked about. Mm-hmm. Uh, by accumulating points, you can use these points to exchange for exclusive items from Battle Spirits website mm. or wherever. Uh, during the mostly during the tournaments. Actually. The tournaments, yes, outside yep. of Japan. Correct. So keep these points; you will need it. Uh, just you know, accumulate as much as you can because some of these I've heard that some of these uh, exchanges are really, really good. Exactly. So you will want to keep all these points as well. Yeah. Now just just keep them. I know you uh, Vanga has a, this problem where you, in we Singapore got, we have so many points, but we got nowhere to exchange. Honestly, we don't have any ways to change. But this will give you the chance when there is local tournaments and stuff like that. Yes. So yeah. 
So, all right. So that's all for the video. I mm. think we have talked a great deal. We really love to see this deck in action. What do yes. you think? I'm gonna whoop your ass with this. Oh, cool. I'm gonna wipe your ass with the same thing too. <laughs> all right, cool. We're gonna have a mirror match for the very first time. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah. Oh, first okay. Time. Sorry that this video is a bit draggy than usual because we have to somehow relate to most of our fans here who have not touched on Battle Spirit. Yes. As a fact, most people haven't had the chance to touch on Battle Spirit because purely of all the restrictions and their heart gets yeah, stuck. Yeah, not only that, it's, mm. it's sort of discontinuing Singapore is trying to get back up again. Exactly. So we are doing the favour for the community, giving back to the community for you yes, guys. As usual, you know, yes. the thing we do. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. so, back to the giveaway that we mm. mentioned earlier mm -hmm. in the video. If you want to get your hands on this SD39, Mm. Uh, what do what do they have to do, Leon? Uh, simply just comment on the on the comment section below, mm -hmm. and then we will pick up two winners at the uh, by the end of the, all three of the videos. Yep, yep. So, so we'll do that. Pick two, just... two, two, two from uh, yes, all correct. three of them out. Yeah. So if you want, if you want to get your hands on this, just you know, in your comment, what, tell us what you like about this uh, about this deck or this video mm -hmm. or or us even. Yeah, shameless plug. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, don't forget to include the hashtag CV giveaway. Yeah, that's correct. See, uh, CV giveaway and but, uh, better spirit giveaway. Uh, BS giveaway. BS. Uh, yeah. Okay, the, the all the all the things are there. there. Yeah. Yeah. So just go. Yeah, take a look. Yeah. Remember it. Hashtag it so you have a chance of winning this. Correct. We'll announce the winner sometime later after you know everything has been concluded. Yes. Uh, and we'll let the winners know. Whether you guys won or not, like yeah, it's obviously because you guys won. So yeah. we'll let you guys know, right? And we'll also announce who the winners are on our mm. Facebook, on our everything. Mm. So uh, if you want to know whether you win or not, uh, you want to follow us for more um, battle battle spirit uh, content like this. Mm. Do subscribe to us for more of these shenanigans, mm. and of course ring that little bell so you can keep up to date with all our up uh, updates, be it uh, be it schedule or impromptu. Yeah. And of course follow us on all our socials. We are on Twitter at Crossbone VGS, mm. our Facebook at Crossbone Vanguards and our blog at CrossboneVanguards.com. Mm. There you see a lot of Vanguard related things such as event coverage, um, deck profiles and a lot of other things that we can't focus on the channel. Mm. And of course we have the Discord server. Uh, Leon, myself and Cat will be there most nights so you can mm -hmm. go over there, be a fellow rear guard and just talk to us and have fun. And we might add something different for Battle Spirits but that one will come in a lot later. Yeah. Of course at the same time you guys say you're a Battle Spirit fan, you can also join the Discord channel no problem. It's yeah, because yeah, just it's come in and have fun. Like, just come in. Yeah, yes, right. I mean, I mean, you see a lot of them talking about coming riders. So anyway, yeah. <laughs> and of course, last but not least, we have a Patreon. Do support us, like what Leon has been saying. The the, the, the Patreon support really, really helps us. Mm -hmm. So do consider supporting us directly through there. Uh, mm -hmm. Bless some money to us. We will help us uh, expand our content even more. Yep. So with that being said, thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.